you're back with the Electro Sports Baseball be, be, Baseball League. It's a league of baseball. It's a baseball league uh, with bulldozer power and uh, changes to this week's lineup. None. Uh, bubbly merchandise is pitching for us. It was supposed to be ominous, Bob, uh, but uh, no. Uh, we're playing against Colonel School today. They are at one and eight at the moment, and we desperately need a win. Desperately, desperately need a win. And because uh, as it stands, we're in danger of missing out on the show. So uh, just, you know, we've we've got to hold tight here and, and come up with something. Uh, it's Nomad Gunslinger pitching uh, for the Colonel School. And uh, uh, we're going to let Cindy just ride out a few pitches. She has now done that. She's not going to get very far off that one. Cindy's confidence is lacking ever so slightly. Uh, but uh, she'll, she'll be back. She'll be, she'll be back. Uh, Kojak Mister on up next. Uh, I have no recollection of how we played last week, which is probably just... Oh, no, it was a, it was a, a nerve jangler the last... No, that's out as well. Uh, nerve jangler last week. Well, let's, let's see how we get in this time. There has been a major update to the way the game plays uh, since we were last here. Uh, I believe the most significant thing we'll see is how the, uh, the AI responds to our pitching. And, uh, and how they go after extra bases by stealing. Uh, well, we've had, a, we've had a walk there. No, in your face, gunslinger. Sling it more accurately next time. Here's Jack Mercury. Uh, failure getting a walk out to first. There you go. He's having a go. Go on, son. He's there. Failure there, stealing second. He's our fastest player on the team, so you would hope that that was the kind of thing that he'd do. Uh, ball two. Yeah. Just swinging at something stupid there, and that's going to be the side outs, and uh, that's the end of our first go. All right, okay. No, it felt, I thought it was going to dip, you see, and it didn't. No. Anyway, he's Mew is up first uh, in the batting order. He's tense at the moment. He's, he's lacking in confidence, batting only 139 in the season. Uh, but we've got, to, we've got to get a feel for what this uh, new, uh, new bat, uh, uh, pitching uh, interface is, is going to do. It's not a new interface, it's just the way that players respond to the pitches that we throw. See, look, he struck at something that was clearly going inside there. Ah, that's that's new. Okay, come on, Bubbly, let's uh, make it happen. That one's gone foul. Try him on a change-up, see if we can sucker him into a swing here. Not so much. Not suckered into anything at all. Uh, that's actually a nice hit. It's going to go for two. All right, okay, all right. Yes, early days. Early days. We'll we'll be fine. It's Kangaroo Carter. 237 for him so far this season. And uh, he's got a he's got a salty looking demeanor. Kojak can't quite get there, and that's been put in an awkward place, and that's gonna oh flame the next failure. Uh, and that's going to be your first run of the afternoon. Oh dear, we've got to play better. Come on, team. Uh, Bubbles, try a try a big sinky curve. All right. Well, I mean, you've got a you've got a foul off that, but even so, I mean, it's we need we need better. That was nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's try something else. Try some there. There it is. Bubbly gets a strikeout. Super. Okay, that's one. Uh, here's Wimpy uh, or Wimpy, depending on uh, on your your chosen pronunciation matrix. And uh, we're going to, yeah, right down this, this lower edge here. Seems to be working quite nicely for us. But, yeah, yeah, stick one right down the middle. I'm sure that's going to work out well. Come on, clown. Pitch better. There you go. Strike out number two. Bubbly merchandise. Finding the, finding the zone is Ribbon Mandaki, uh, who's, uh, who's up next. 188 uh, is his uh, batting average this season. Let's go to Cindy. Let's hope for no errors in the fielding side of things from Cindy this time around. Because uh, she didn't have the best of games last time. Anyway, at the end of one, it's one to nothing in favour of Colonel School. Long way to go yet. Uh, Got to get our rhythm in. Yeah. Because then the rhythm will get you. And it, is it? Did you purposefully stand on that? Oh, I did. Yeah, I did. No, 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 no. Zoltan, he's waiting for it. He felt it, he's got it, he's walked it. Nice one, Zoltan. Taking his base there. Here's Julie Hardware. Uh, still in for Steve Morris. Steve Morris' fitness is back up again and his confidence is, uh, is back to normal. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll keep Julie Hardware in for the time being, despite the fact that we hate him and that's a nice hit. 
Solid. Okay. All right. Runners first and second. No outs. Top of uh, inning number two is Rudy Capslock. Uh, we're down to the thin end of the wedge as far as our batters are concerned. Um, but if this guy can't hit their strike zone, then maybe we don't actually need to hit anything. I mean, well, I mean, typically, that's the way it works. Oh, oh, that one felt like it almost went through him. But at, uh, regardless, that's loaded the bases up. Yes, sirree, Bob. And that's going to lead uh, Lynn Mephisto to an opportunity where she can do something magnificent. I mean, we'll give her the we'll give her that opportunity certainly. Uh, she might not need that opportunity. Obviously, uh, that's good. That is good. Yep, we're going. Come on, everybody. Everybody, go home. Come on, go on. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. All right, a double there for Mephisto and uh, two runs batted in. Bulldozer power easing their way into the lead and uh, and bubbly merchandise next up to bat. Uh, bubbles, we've got no outs. Just take it. Actually, we're not trying to take second either, so you can pop one out to uh, to right field if you feel like it, and uh, no harm done. Strike two. All right, Bubbles, come on, come on, come on, come on. She likes it, and she has a base hit and a run batted in. Bubbly merchandise there. The pitcher uh, is uh, making her presence felt. Back round to Cindy now with an opportunity to uh, to start to rebuild her confidence. Uh, if she can get a hit. If she needs one, that is. Uh, she might not need one. But if she does need one, that's that's nice. I don't know if she's got the... door. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Uh, Cindy there caught at the fence from a diving catch. That would have been a that would have been a heck of a hit. That one that would have been uh, that would have been glorious, but it wasn't. Kojak now. Okay, yeah, that's all right. It's good. We've done all we needed to for this inning. Uh, it's all good. We've we've taken the lead and we've uh, we've built it up so that we might actually hang on to the lead for a little while. Uh, meanwhile, we've rinsed a heck of a lot of uh, pitches off this old pitcher fella. Uh, out number two. Kojak gets on base, but the runner isn't quick enough to make it a second. Uh, and that will bring failure up with two outs and uh, one runner on base at the current time. We've got a run batted in there as well. Hey, well, that's, let's call that some kind of sacrificial play then. Yes, let's. Yeah, yeah, we have done. I, do, I just did. That's a, that's a thing that happened. Ulysses Faye got himself a walk first time round, but uh, he's, he'll be hoping for more. Uh, as one of our quote-unquote big guns um one would hope that he has a big gun and can therefore you know shoot it uh casually into the audience and uh and gain some some press no no she's, he's gonna walk again all right okay he doesn't need a bat at this stage well like barry bonds yeah yeah very much so well they've had enough for gunslinger he was only a c plus rated uh uh pitcher yeah he's a he's ominous bob standard uh they're bringing on ye all the clumsy uh, to take his place, who is a much better pitcher. All right. Failure there. Uh, no, it's not failure. He's already on base. Well, how far is that going? Oh, that felt like it was off the backboard. Anyway, regardless, four runs batted in for, uh, for BDP. Uh, pretty strong second inning after a disappointing first. And it's Eric the Sea Ape up next to bat. And uh, Bubbly just needs to keep up with what she's been doing so far, ideally. Uh, a few more swings and misses, like that. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, what do you want to get in with? Let's uh, let's try one of these. All right, about there. That's uh, good enough. Kojak will snap that one up, and that's gone out. Number one. Von Kludge next. Actually, a pretty strong hitter, the shortstop, but uh, they're keeping him relatively low in the batting order. Well, I mean, we're talking what mid table? Well, mid late. All right. Well, where, whatever we're talking, he's he's lower down the batting order than you would think for someone who's who's actually had quite a strong batting performance so far this season, comparatively. There you go. Swung at a really low one there. This is nice to see that the AI is swinging at rubbish. That's quite heartening. And then uh, a strike out there, and Von Kludge can go and sit down. Here's Frank Tango. Uh, 265 for him. One home run so far this year, and one run batted in, which will have been that home run that we just mentioned. He anticipated that. Yeah. There's another home run for him. Oh, he'll be delighted. He will be delighted, won't he? Oh, start doing, doing the machine guns there. Stood at the, uh, stood at the dugout. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right, Tango. Yeah, no need to milk it, son. Come on, clear off. Well done, you played well. Uh, here's the batter. Yeah, the batter. Yeah. Who is the pitcher? Ah, Cindy? Not uh, not really close there. Well, okay, well, that's two that's two pitches in a row where they've uh, where they've anticipated my pitch, despite the fact that they were different pitches. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, right. Caps lock. Straight to first, please, Capo. Good job. All right. Well, we conceded one, but scored four, and that takes us into the lead. Four runs plays two here at the end of two. Uh, Zoltan Zoltan is up first for us. Uh, it has he got his big swinging pants off? Oh, flipping it, that one has some pace on it. Uh, all right, come on, Zoltan. Get in the zone, mate. Get in the zone. Come on, be ready for it. Yeah, these are all kind of low. All right, we'll be ready for a low one then. No, Zoltan there, foxed into uh, into swinging at something mischievous. Uh, that's the full count. Zoltan's going to get caught centre field. But he did hit that with some gusto. Uh, so that's something to celebrate. And he, and he used six pitches. So, you know, that's, that's fine. If we can use this dude's arm up, I'm all for it. Uh, Julie Hardware now. Julie! No. Caught out by Von Kludge there, the shortstop. Uh, it is uh, Rudy Caps Lock. He had a hit from his first at bat. Not hanging around here. He's going to get on base. That's nice. Yes, that's good for players to uh, to do the thing that they're supposed to do. That's very helpful. This uh, that will give us Lynn Mephisto with a with a double and two runs batted in from her first. Uh, she's arguably leading the team success wise so far today. Strike one. Yeah. Yep. Pitchers uh, starting ever so slightly. Just. Ever so slightly starting to fade a smidge. Mephisto puts it in a tight spot and uh, and we'll have the uh, have the base hit there. But we've got two outs and we're going to be relying on uh, on Bubbles the bubbly merchandise to uh, to land either a hit or a walk here. I, I don't care J to get on base. There you go. Oh crikey! Yeah, no, she got well and truly suckered by that one. Missed all three. That's, that's a slight change to the, pit, of the pitching there, because one and three, I should have made contact with those. Interesting. Well, we did know that the uh, the way that some things are calculated has been changed, and uh, and therefore that kind of behaviour is to be anticipated. Uh, we're back round to Kangaroo Carter, who's popped this one up. Zoltan, are you feeling it or not? Zoltan? Zoltan? Oh, for crying out loud, son! Well, by the time that had landed, the uh, the batter had already rounded second. That one had gone into orbit. A heck of a hit. Um, but Zoltan just not seeming to be into it at all. That one's gone up a bit as well. Failure. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Home run. And there goes our lead. Just over the fence. Just, uh, oh dear. Barbara Joy Joy there. Sixth home run of the season. Well, this is a team renowned as power hitters, and uh, and that's what they're doing right now. Maybe I should stop pitching low, uh, pitch up a little bit higher, and then maybe it's uh, it's more tricky for them to get underneath it. That's the that's the theory. I mean, well, that's that's pretty good theory as it happens. Uh, Bubbly's confidence has taken a bit of a knock, uh, but you know, another strikeout and she'll be back on top. All right, another, another strikeout and she'll be back on top. Come on, Bubbles. Come on, Bubbles. Another strikeout, and she'll be back on... Come on, Bubbly, just do the flipping pitch. Another strikeout, and she'll be back on top. Would you stop fouling these, missus? <sighs> Learn to play baseball. All right, well, she hit it. I mean, that's something, I suppose. Failure. Thank you very much. All right, out number one. Magdaki next. Uh, got nothing from his first at bat. Yeah. Strike one. Thank you, Bubbly. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bubbly's been pretty efficient so far, but that's not the point. Um, if we can avoid them fouling all of these into oblivion, uh, then it won't take us nine pitches to get someone out. That one's gone a long way. Mephisto's there, though, and has it. Out number two. All right. Uh, Eric the Sea Ape is, uh, is your next uh, star player to take the field. Beautiful pitch. Strike one. Nice. Come on, Bubbles. Let's go. Yeah. 
Don't maybe, you're, don't, maybe, maybe that. Uh, no, oh, that's straight down the middle. That's cunning. Yeah, they'll, they'll not have expected that. No, hit it pretty well though, didn't it? Yes, it did. Okay. All right, Von Clutch. Uh, he's, uh, he's not. Uh, he's he's not a bad player, is Von Clutch. There you go. Hardware to second. Too late. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean the scores are all square at the moment. Which, you know, that for the fans makes for a nice, exciting adventure kind of a day. Providing, of course, I, I manage to win eventually. Strike two. Nice one, Bubbly. Then just, just finish him. All right. Right there. Nope. Okay. All right. And finish him. Oh, come on. That was beautiful. That should have slid through the strike zone on its way uh, inside. Uh, it's not going to help, though. Rudy Caps Lock snaps that one up, and it's out number three. At the end of three innings, it's all square. Two runs apiece. Bulldozer power up next. Cindy Vapid, top of the order. All of that business, off we trot. Uh, Cindy, we need, a, we need a base hit from you. Well, she's not going to get us a base hit. No, she's going to get run out. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, at least we didn't keep her hanging around. I mean, there's, there's nothing worse than... Uh, than, uh, the, than being dispatched, having had to, you know, hang around for five or six pitches in order to achieve that. Uh, there we go. Lovely job. Missed her on there. Bonanzaing one straight up to centre field, and she'll get onto base. Uh, the other thing that we should keep an eye out for is apparently uh, pitchers are now more readily able to uh, uh, to intercept, nay, snag a return to sender style hit. Which could be exciting. It might be exciting. We we don't know. We don't know. All right. Okay. That Georgia Kojak. And she's there. Lovely. Nice steal there by Kojak. Uh, ball three for failure. Yeah. Well, he, he didn't need to swing at that one. But he, he's decided that, you know, making contact with the ball once in a while is something that he likes doing. That's, yeah, let's see how you like it, pal. Kind of failure. Foul them all over the space. No, it's okay. The the batter gets a walk, and uh, that's that's how we like it. Runners now on two and no one and two. Uh, Mercury up next. He hasn't had a hit yet today. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Too early. Too early on the swing there, son. Too early. Swing later, but not too late. You know, swing at exactly the right time. That's what we're after. Ball two. Strike one. All right, come on. Nope, nope. Clumsy's uh, arm has already faded dramatically at this stage. Uh, that's strike two. Uh, that's uh, another walk. There, Mercury gets on base. Holy cow, his arm really has gone to hell already. Uh, only 30 pitches into his game as well. Uh, and that will give us Zoltan. Uh, with the bases loaded, one out. Well, this, this is a good opportunity for Zoltan to get the entire team out. Uh, he's not. He's only going to get himself with a little bit more uh, presence of mind. I possibly could have taken home there, uh, but uh, so it's okay. We're going to rely on uh, Julie Boy Hardware to uh, to come up with the stitches. What does that mean? You know what it means, Julie Boy. Julie Boy Hardware. There it is. That'll do. That will do. And uh, oh, that's ambitious. It worked though. All right, Julius hits in two there, uh, bringing up uh, Rudy Caps Lock. And uh, yeah, all the clumsy's done for the day. They're bringing in Carol Flourish in his place. Uh, she's a, a B-grade pitcher. Uh, we'll, we'll let her warm up. Yeah, by which I mean we'll stand here for a bit while she just chucks some in. Because uh, getting, getting them uh, exhausted is, is very important. Strike two. All right, Rudy, when you like. Yeah, clearly a ball. Yeah, two and two the count. Caps locks. Not he's not put enough on that, and he's going to be out. Uh, retiring the side, but two runs for Bulldozer Power. Okay. Well, this is a back and forthy kind of a game so far, and uh, that makes it exciting. Is Frank Tango had a home run first time around? Bubbly's still looking pretty good, although uh, is lacking in confidence. Strike one. Beautiful. All right. Come on, Bubbles. Couldn't quite hold on to that one. Zoltan's going to have to field it from centre field. And that'll be a base hit. 
Bubbles, look, a strikeout and your confidence should rock it back up again. Here's the picture. All right, come on. Keep it simple. Don't you dare, Bunt. Don't you dare. No. Yep, there it is. Hard, hard way. We'll pick the ball up, you dipstick. Well, okay, they had a bunt. I, I, I dived thinking I'd catch the bunt. And the instinct was absolutely spot on, except Julius Hardware dropped it. And then couldn't figure out how to pick the ball up afterwards. That's nice. Yeah, what could have been a really a really fun play there, ended up giving up a base that we didn't need to. Good times, good times. Yeah, maybe don't try and be clever, but being clever is the fun bit. That one's gone to Cindy. Cindy can't stop it either. Oh, for pity's sake. Fielders. Do we have to go back to fundamentals here? I mean, if it's going towards your glove, you have to stop it. Uh, and we've now got the bases loaded with no outs. And that's a very long hit. That's a very long hit. Oh, no. A grand slam there. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, for the second time in the game, Colonel Skull have taken the lead. Here's uh, Barbara Joy Joy and uh, Bubbly Merchandise quite rattly, it, uh, quite rattly, yeah, quite rightly, is rattled. Uh, yeah, well, you would be. You've given up eight flipping runs. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they're fouling it off at every opportunity doesn't help. Uh, but that's not the point. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, stop fouling it. It's just boring. Hit it, don't hit it, I don't care. Just, I'll oh, stop it. Just learn how to play. There you go, try one of them. There you go, clear off. Right, that's it, good. All right, so, uh, struck out there. Wimpy, up next. Uh, that's, that has restored some of Bubbly's confidence, just a little. Well, get another strike out then, Bubbly, that's all you need. Uh, if that's that's all it takes to make you happy. I was, I was looking at the batter there going, go on in, field it. Uh, but obviously he wasn't he wasn't so keen on the idea yeah just uh, slap one right on the no it's not right on the line but it's another strikeout nonetheless bubbly merchandise uh, a late surge there a renaissance if you will in her in her pitching prowess and uh, and that's done well for us Cindy good snag out number three but we gave up four runs and that's not what you want to see bulldozer power trailing by two at the end of four innings, it's uh, eight to six in favour of Colonel School. In the fist, I'll up first. Having a decent game so far. Uh, will that persist? That's solid. Has it got the distance? No. Pity. Okay. Well, here is Bubbly, and she can sit down. She's done enough for us. Really? We're only in the fifth inning, son. She's tired. Look at her. Look, she's very tired. She's tense. Tense and tired. A bad combination. All right, what do you got for me? Uh, I just want to check my relievers before I commit. Oh, you can't check your relievers. Oh, okay. Uh, you can by, by tagging over the ball pen, you see. Jeff looks all right. Disneyland's a bit tired. Yeah. Tulip looks okay. All right, we've got three relievers. Oh, you'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be all right. Okay. Right, try it again. Bring in a hitter. Uh, what do you think? Hammock? Who's faster? Neither. Okay. Big Steve? He's got power, but he's got nothing else. Actually, he's only the same speed as the others. Uh, what about crampons? He can't hit worth a damn, so no. All right. Veronica's on. 27 feet tall. It's uh, Veronica Hammock. Wastes no time at all in uh, getting out. Okay, fine. That was your shot at glory there, Veronica. You don't get many of them. You might want to make one count once in a while. Uh, back round to Cindy. Still lacking a hit so far today, and uh, and her confidence is rubbish. Uh, she's got a bit of a she's got a bit of a, a disappointing snowball of disappointment. Well, that's a low grounder. Cindy's pretty quick. Will she make it? Yes, she will. Uh, good. Finally. Well done, Cind. Uh, right, we're looking at Kojak now. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Cindy's not interested. She's not. Uh, she's not playing that game. Or is she? Yes, she is. And she's caught in a runoff. And out. Oh, and that felt like it was going to be a pitch. I think that's the general idea. 
This Jeff Conservative who's back in following his uh, rather unpleasant injury that he encountered earlier on this season. And we're going to need him to uh, to pitch well. Because that's we, we brought him into pitch. So, do, you know, we want him to do it well. Right, uh, ball one. Yeah, do another one of those. Get this one on target, would you? That's on target. It's not a good pitch, though. It's good enough. Caps Lock picks that up. Out number one. Uh, here's uh, his Von Kludge. He's done nothing today, but he was uh, coming into this game one of their better pit, uh, one of their better batters, uh, but hasn't really demonstrated it so far. And now that I've said that, he's going to demonstrate it any moment. So do uh, do stay tuned. Nope. Okay. All right. Okay. One and one. Yeah. Just keep throwing in the curves. All right. Cappers has got it. Flung it to first. That's out number two. This is the stuff. Here's Frank Flipping Tango. He's uh, two for two with a home run. Uh, batting 306 now in, in the season. Off the back of uh, uh, a pretty strong performance for him today. All right. And it's out of here. Flipping heck. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It doesn't rain, but it rains a lot. No, that's uh, another, another home run there. And... Flaming Frank, flaming tango, does his little dance around the outside. It's not a tango that he does either. Some kind of chicken strut kind of an idea. Julie, is that off the fence? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. It's Carol Flores, the pitcher, everybody. All right. She got on base thanks to Julius Hardware last time round. Uh, hopefully. There it is. All right, struck out by uh, Big Jeff Conservative and uh, Bulldozer Power now trail by three. They've got to get some offense going here and uh, Kojak Mistron to lead the way is the right... Oh, that was a beautiful pitch. Uh, is the right player to make that happen. All right. Yeah. Come on, Kojak. Come on. Come on, Kojak. Early swing on that one. I've been caught out by a lot of these pitches, you know. As it not caught, but you know, uh, oh dear, he shouldn't have swung at that, but that's okay, it's gone foul. Yeah. There we go, Kojak gets a walk. All right, okay, good patience and used up a lot of pitches along the way. Here's Ulysses failure, three at bats, three walks for him so far today. All right, it's not like he's a small target. No, no, it's not. Yeah, not at all. All right, here we go, here we go. Ball one. Okay, yeah, he's seen them before. He's continuing to see them. Failure, bad. He's out, and uh, and Kojak has to scamper back again. Uh, his uh, his Jack Mercury. He's done nothing apart from getting a walk, and uh, we need him to. Uh, we're in our, in our big hitter zone here. So realist, oh, flipping egg. Uh, realistically, we need some someone here to uh, to dump this one over the fence. Come on, Zoltan, you're the big dog. Make it happen. You've been very reliable when it comes to home runs Inside. this season. You've had five of them in nine games. Nope. So uh, let's put this one in the car park. We need it if we're going to stay competitive because our uh, our defense is not up to much so far today. What are you playing at, Zoltan? Uh, it's not up to much so far today. It's ball three, strike one, two outs. Sixth inning. Zoltan, Zoltan gets a walk. All right, okay, good, 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 good. Julius Hardware, he's two of three, and he's had two runs batted in. So uh, I'm not quite ready yet to pour a ton of scorn on him, as much as he may deserve it for being a smug-faced little gimboid. Uh, but uh, beyond that, no, he hasn't, he hasn't done anything wrong, apart from catching that bunt. Yeah, if he'd have done that, then, you know, we might be happier with him. But we still hate him just as much as ever. And he's got everyone out. He should have just sat there. You were on three balls. You could have... Oh, hold on. Did he make it? No. No, he didn't make it. Oh, it looked like he might have... I thought that was a, a, a fielding error. wasn't a fielding error. Okay, so he's Mew. He's, uh, he's two or three. He's had a double. He's had a single. Um, and, uh, and now he's going to have a pint. All right. So he, uh, he's hit that one foul. Jeff Conservative. He's, uh, he's still looking fresh. Uh, but uh, how fresh are his pitches? And uh, if they are fresh, what's the best before date? Strike two. That was super. Yeah, give him another fastball. We never throw a fastball on third down. No, that's not it. All right. We throw the change up on third down all the time. Yeah, I know. That's true. There you go. Yeah, try that. 
Cindy, while she gets the catch, uh, off there. can't quite return it to the base fast enough, though. A halfway decent piece of fielding. Here's Kangaroo Carter. He's got a home run, a triple, a double. He's got bat five runs batted in. Over 50% of the damage done to us today was done by this git. All right, yeah. But we're still going to treat him with the respect he does not deserve. All right. There you go. Two fouls. Sucker him on a change-up, Jeff. Come on. There it is. Booyah. Get off the field, punk. Jeff Conservative there, doing exactly what I asked him to do, and it worked. I know, these things almost almost rarely happen, but uh, it's all good when it does. Strike one. Yeah, who are we playing? That's uh, Barbara Joy Joy. Is she good? She's got six home runs this season. That is good. It is. It is good. Yeah, okay. Come on, Jeffrey, put her away. There it is. Second strikeout for the Conservative there. That's a thing of beauty. Here's Wimpy. Right. Uh, high and fast. Yeah, they like fouling those. That's true. That's nah, high inside and fast. Try uh, try high and away a little bit. There it is. Yeah, swing at that, punk. All uh, right. Bit of a bit of a sinky curve. Sinky curve draws a foul. They can't possibly all go for the uh, change up. They can. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, laugh as much as you like. But we still trail by three as we head into the seventh inning, and it's really caps lock up to bat. Uh, tail end of the order here, and that doesn't bode necessarily all that well. Uh, caps lock hasn't played badly today, but he's he's not someone I would expect to put us back into the running here. If we can get on base, that'd be good enough. Can he? No. Oh, okay then. There you go. Uh, down the line, which was quite a nice hit, but it wasn't enough it wasn't didn't get the distance and therefore he was run out to first Lin Mephisto up next uh, another, another tail ender who's having a halfway decent game so far uh, but uh, again not the kind of player you would expect to be able to lead us back into the light from the shadows that we currently dwell in although saying that she's got a chance has she no she's out as well as Jeff conservative he's batting zero for the season but he's uh, a relieving pitcher. So he's not going to waste any time. And that's a relief for all of us. At the end of our seventh inning, we're not looking good. No, but we do have the top of the order coming up. Yeah, like that's going to make a difference. Here's uh, Ribbon Magdaki. He's uh, chewing something. All right. Yep, he's fouled that one off. We've seen it before. Let's see if we'll see it again. He's popped that one up. What a clown. Jeff's calling for it. He's going, no. All right, Jeff says no, and that's the end of him. Uh, is Eric the Sea Ape. He's uh, one of three. He's feeling a little bit tense. He obviously struck out recently. Oh, poor fella. Yeah, I haven't got that much sympathy for him, though. Oh, he checked himself before he swung at a complete dog's dinner of a pitch there. That's not bad. Yep. Cappers with the throw to first. Out number two. Well, this is some better defense coming from Bulldozer Power, but we still trail by three. You can't score points defensively. Strike one. Jeff looking absolutely dynamite with his dynamite throwing. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I am. I'm building up to the change up on third down again. Yeah. All right. Here we go. There it is. Yeah, he's, I think you might have seen that one coming. Failure. Complete missed it and missed it again. Uh, going for the second base and has it. Oh, yeah, all right. It's Frank Tango. He's had two home runs against us today. We hate him. Yeah. All right. Let's do something different with him then. There you go. Strike one. And uh, cheeky curve. Cheeky curve. All right. He's fouled that one off. Back to the change up. All right. Yeah. There. Four one. Right. Uh, let's give him something that he can foul away. There we go. And then uh, let's back to the change up. Hi. He's fouled that one as well. All right. Back to the change up in the middle. He's getting going to get used to these. Yeah, but he's popped it up. It's got uh, caps lock, caps lock, caps lock, caps lock. Any, I don't care who catches it as long as one of you does. And uh, a nice piece of defensive work keeps them out of the uh, out of the scoring there. It is now uh, nine to six in favour of Colonel School at the end of seventh inning. Uh, we need our big hitters to turn up. Because uh, 
as of yet, they haven't. Cindy there goes away cheaply again. Yeah, bad day for Cindy Vapid. And uh, you have to wonder how many days we can tolerate Cindy Vapid having a bad day offensively. Kojak there with enough for a base hit. That's good. I mean, we land a, we land a home run now. That would be good. Uh, that will certainly make me feel like we could get somewhere. Uh, failure's confidence is almighty right now. Uh, he's only had to swing his bat one time. He's, uh, he's had three walks so far. Yeah. Yeah, strike one. Come on, failure. Come on. Big hit. And dropped. That's lucky. Not lucky. All right. Well, we lost the runner to second, which now takes us to two outs. This is a bad sign. Uh, is Jack Mercury. They're making a double switch. Uh, Carol Flourish is out. Father Tempest coming in to pitch in her place. And uh, Eric the Sea Ape is gone. And they're bringing in Larry Absent as a, uh, as a change up for first base. Okay. Uh, batting for us is Jack Mercury. And, uh, and we're, we're going to need something here. I can't see us pulling this back in the ninth inning with uh, the batters that we've got coming up in the order. Just can't see it. Just can't see it. Okay. All right. Father Tempest, old fresh pitcher. And, uh, well, Mercury's just standing his ground at the moment. Continues to do so. He's not in a rush. And uh, waste it. Waste it. A golden opportunity. It was a nice enough pitch, but didn't get any power behind it at all. And uh, side is gone. Still trailing by three. Larry absent now up to pit, uh, up to bat. And that will be the double switch that we just saw to change the batting order. Cheeky, but permissible. Yeah. If they can build on their, uh, if they can build on their momentum, uh, it could be trouble for us here. Have a, have a, have a, a swing and a miss there, dude. Uh, he anticipated the curve. All right, Zoltan's got to it. It's thrown for second, so that'll be a base hit. All right, okay, all right, settle in. You know, we've got three outs to get here, and then we've got to do a come-from-behind ninth inning, and you know how we're brilliant at those. Uh, yeah. That's another runner on base. Yeah, Jeff, how are you feeling? I don't know, here's Kangaroo Carter. He's got a home run, a triple, a double. He's got five runs batted in. He's an absolute nightmare of an opponent. Uh, Jeff, 40 pitches deep into his arm, and he's, uh, he's looking all right so far. There's strike one. Yeah. By which I mean, should I be subbing Jeff out? The answer is, no, there's no point. He's, he's fine. Whoever you subbed in wouldn't be any better, and that's the bases loaded. Oh, dear. Don't give up, son. Come on, stay positive. Keep your, keep your dream alive. Well, yeah, but at some point, I've got to hit the ball, and, and uh, that seems to be eluding me so far. Strike two. Nice, Jeff. And... Oh, you anticipated the two-strike change-up. I wonder why. It's your favourite thing to do in the world. And that's, that's going to be two runs by the looks of it. Zoltan throws for home. No, you don't. There you go. We got an out off that one, but they still got a run. Yeah. There's Wimpy. Zero for four from his at-bats. Her, beg your pardon, at-bats so far today. And uh, it doesn't change the fact that uh, we're now trailing by four. Uh, with only one uh, one inning remaining and we haven't got this lot out yet and they've got runners on first and second doesn't change any of that no that's a narrative that still exists you anticipated the change up Jeff I think you've done that enough now didn't anticipate that though did you clown no ha alright two outs is Mag Daki um, well he's he's overdue a hit which means he'll probably get one uh, start with the change up yeah there you go. That was a ball. That's a bit of a waste. Yeah, a bit of a waste. All right, never mind. That one's all over the place. All right, hardware. Can't do anything with that. Give him a couple to foul off. All right, he, uh, he obviously didn't see that one. That one was like a blur. That's ball three. Don't walk him for crying out loud. Oh, Jeff! Um... Uh... Jeff's down, everybody. Jeff is down. Jeff. Uh, medic. All right. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? No, this is not what I wanted. I want to make a substitution, please. Thank you. Because uh, I don't... I, I'm, ooh, how do you do the double double switch? 
Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Double switch. Double switch. How the hell does this work? You change your picture for a... You, you change a you change a picture for a, an outfield right well i'll take mercury off because he's been hopeless yeah i make him the picture yes so we'll put capsicum disco who is worthless as a person yeah hang on i'm i'm needing to i've got to think all right yeah let's uh, let's start here no maybe i don't know how this is going to work right we'll try a double switch right we'll bring in chili banter all right, yeah. And then Jackie Merks, yeah. For Capsicum Disco. What, Crapsicum Disco, am I right? Yeah, it's either that or Crampons. I'm not sure Crampons can play third base. He can't. Is he, how much different is he to dis now, Crampons is in. Yeah, I made an executive decision. It's not gonna change anything, but there you go. Crampons is now in. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we've got Chillip Banter on the mound. We need one out, please. All right, yeah. All right, chill it there. Drawing a foul is uh, is a cheeky slider. I'm a cheeky slider. Hear me shout. Anyone get to first? Yeah, there it is. Out number three. Okay. All right, chill it. Gives up nothing there, uh, but we've got to pull back four runs. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. All right. There we go. What's happening here? Uh, Wimpy is off. Mr. Cag is in at catcher. All right. Come on, Zoltz. Leads, lead strong, son. Lead strong. We need, to, we need someone to demonstrate the kind of leadership that's going to get us out of this hole. And that's not it. No, the fielding has been on point so far today. Zoltan's gone there with a nice stop from the second baseman. Is Julie Hardware. Uh, his confidence has taken a knock. Why were you swinging at that, Julie? Don't get on tilt. No, that's not going to help anything. All right, ball two. Yeah. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's the stuff. All right, Julie Hardware with a base hit. Okay, yeah. All right, okay, who's up next? Rudy Caps lock up's not up next. One out. We can't have any more outs. We're not allowed them. No, they're fattening and uh, and very bad for the, uh, for the thickness of our arterial walls. And therefore, we should not have them. All right, have a double out then. Oh, yeah, that'd do it. And Bulldozer Power slump to another defeat. Holy mackerel. We're losing to teams who are awful. And uh, and it shouldn't be allowed. Uh, a, a deserved loss has to be said when we're, we're hitting so erratically. Uh, four walks for failure, though. Three. However many walks for failure. That's impressive. Despite landing... 10 strikeouts overall, 5 for Bubbly, and then 5 for Jeff Conservative before he was killed. Um, just, yeah, you like to see it, but here's your star players, and uh, for the first time in a long time, there is no member of Bulldozer Power present. Kangaroo Carter, Frank Tango, Barbara Joy Joy. Oh dear. We've only got four games to simulate before we're back up again. First up, you've got the Sunshine Fun Bus, who are currently 7-2, and two, taking on the 6-4 and four of City Axemen. Cole Warehouse is, uh, is pitching uh, for the Axemen, uh, facing off against Burt Violence. So, the Fun Bus with a 3-0 victory there. That was easy enough. Faleywood Hills are 5-5. Five and five. They're taking on the 4-5 and five Cheerio Inc., uh, uh, Failurewood could do with a win here to uh, to have any chance of making postseason. Cheerio Inc. If they don't win now, they're probably done. Failurewood with an easy lead, win that one four to three. Cheerio, Cheerio, yeah. Fun bus back in action again against the Picks Creek Miners. Both games having played ten so far this season. Uh, Fun bus on eight and two, looking pretty strong. And uh, they continue to look strong there as they win that one eight and two. It's almost like the numbers. There's some meaning to them. Almost, almost that way, certainly. Uh, to round us out, the uh, Beekeepers are taking on the Steganauts. A win for the Beekeepers, who were runners-up last season. Did I mention that before? Yeah, maybe once or twice. Uh, to uh, to do something with things, yeah, that's a thing and happening. 
Uh, big keepers off to an early lead. Stegnauts with a big inning, though. Pull it back and come away with a win. Well, I never did. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the standings as we uh, as we move into the second half of the season. The wood chipper division of Port Miggins Pirates are leading the way with Stardozer Human Resources in contention. Colonel Skull's win over Bulldozer Power was nice, but I don't think we'll be seeing them come the playoffs. In the Bombastic, the Nomads are on 7-3, and three, and that gives them the lead over Grazer Ridge by two games. So we're looking at Port Miggins Pirates and the Nomads as two of the playoff teams. Yep. In the fish tank, it's the Bumson Medics and Grunt Auto Group who are tied for the lead at the moment. Peninsula Transport are on three loss, uh, three wins so far this season. They're not out of it yet, but they are pretty much out of it. They, to be in it, they've got to do more. But I don't think they're going to do more. And therefore, it could go either way between the Grunt Auto Group and Bumson Medics. Moving into battle plan, Bordeaux of Power in second place. What's this rubbish? On five and five. Uh, the Lingo Blend All-Stars on seven and three. A two-game advantage. This is not the season we were anticipating. Bulldozer of power continually, continually to struggle offensively or defensively. It seems like getting a good game on both sides of the ball is a rarity. Now, budget are on three wins there. Not really playing. <clears throat> Over into bad company now and uh, Sunshine Fun Bus as we've seen in action. Nine wins in the season so far. They really don't need to do much more to uh, to take this. Uh, the Off-City Axemen are three games back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we all know what that means. If you do know, let me know. Uh, Sloganator Division. St Steganauts of Failure would have tied at the top with six wins apiece. Erg Mellonflex are on four, which means that they're still in the business of playing baseball. But you have to have some losers... And it might just be that the Chroniclers are it. In the Zesty Division, the Wretched Minstrels are out front with 6 and 4. Sea Raiders are in chase, though, with 5 and 5. The Sports Ball Union on 2 and 8. We'll see them next year. Back to the Colonel Cam Division, and the Beekeepers are in the lead on 6 and 5. But this is a very heavily contested division. Uh, the Miners in second on 5 and 6. Cheerio on 4 and 6. Could go anyway, but the uh, the story of the season so far is that Bulldozer Power really aren't good, and we've got to take on the Port Miggins Pirates, a winning team, uh, in our next encounter. I look forward to it as much as I look forward to anything, and uh, we hope to see you there. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.